Hello everybody. Uh Happy Halloween. <laughs> uh this sound I'll be looking at Tomy. Tomy is based off a Japanese manga by Junji Ito and he did other works like say uh flesh colored horror, gyro and uh Uzumaki. Uh, Tomi is probably my favorite of his works so far. Uh, I, I really do love the setup of Tomi. It's very st steeped in, uh, uh, Greek lore in some points of saying monsters or monsters taking the f a form of female, of an attractive female, playing upon men's weaknesses for lust and beauty. And uh, eventually driving them to the point of its insanity of uh, just in, in killing each other, or you know, if I can't have her, no one can type of sensibility. Uh, except in Tomi here, um, it's a slow film. <laughs> it's a slow film, and it's really trying to be artsy in the sense of, you know slow, quiet moments, you know, taking in the scene of just normal organic sound and just like that, but, um, it doesn't really build up that much of horror and suspense of something that Tomi should be, because Tomi's half psychological, psych uh, half psychological, uh, horror, uh, playing upon men's minds and driving them insane, and the other is body horror, the body and mind. And the body horror comes a part of Tomi because not being only beautiful and driving men to the point of insanity, uh, they kill her. And the thing about it, she has the most ridiculous healing factor of all. Of all. <laughs> if you chop off her head, uh, her head will grow a body and her body will grow a head. You chop one piece off of her, that singular piece will grow into another full grown Tomi. And uh so, you know, the horror can separate and spread all over the place. Um so <laughs> pardon me. Um the film itself, the only main saving grace I can find is uh the uh, the soundtrack, especially the opening scene and, uh, endings, uh, ending, uh, other parts of the song, uh, other parts of the film that are supposed to introduce Tomi. And, uh, the song's called Robbie Song. Look it up. It, it's extremely creepy. It uses a synthesized type, uh, music. And you can barely make out the words, you know, it sounds almost inaudible, but when you can, it's really effective for setting the mood, I find. Uh, the other only thing that I think is truly notable for this film is what happens to a man with an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you're a fan of the manga, you might enjoy it, but I say kind of, eh, it's not worth it as much. I say go check out, uh, probably other films. I keep on hearing they're better. I keep on hearing the first film of Tomi is a dud. The ending is totally nonsensical. I'm like, where did that come from? It's just like, there is no implication of that anywhere. Uh, but, um... That's it. Uh, Tomi, uh, it's alright. The same grace is probably the song about it. Not really that much creepy elements of the film, it's just extremely slow. <sighs> um, yeah. Happy Halloween, happy Halloween, everybody. Mary Poppins, wow!